he was the guy. There was, no, there was no doubt about it. He wasn't a routing indicator. He was a career CIA officer. CIA officer who's responsible for Cubans who have a, a relationship, an extended relationship with Oswald. I mean, they, they have a fight with him, they debate him on the radio, they debate him on TV, they're in court with him, he's taped handing pamphlets out, they, go to his, they send somebody to his house, they write this press release, so they had a lot of contact with him. And that's exactly the kind of thing that an intelligence officer is supposed to report. Who was Howard? Who was Howard? So I put the question to the JFK Review Board in December of 1997. And I said, ask the agency for this officer's identity because his records would be assassination related. I pointed out one interesting thing about the available records on the DRE, which was that there was a gap in the agency's reporting on him. Howard's predecessors, Ross Crozier, had filed a monthly report, monthly progress report, on the group. How much money did they get? What did they do with it? How effective were they? What are their prospects? Every month, two, three pages. Howard's successor, in April 1964, for the next couple of years, filed every month. For the 17 months that Howard handled the group, no reports, nothing. So. They asked, and the answer came back from the CIA about a month later. We didn't have a relationship with the DRE in 1963, and we don't know who Howard was. We're not even sure if he was a real person. We're not sure that he was an actual person or just a routing indicator was what they said. The name Howard was just a routing indicator, didn't refer to a person. Fortunately, the JFK Review Board had a uh, people who knew CIA record keeping systems, and a woman named Michelle Combs did her own search. Uh, she had worked at the CIA and she knew where to look, and she found the case officer for the DRE. His name was George Joannides. I had never heard the name George Joannides before. I thought that was interesting. Um, I looked through the fitness reports for 1963. He had indeed run the DRE and had gotten very high grades for doing all of that, for running the group. He had gotten them under control, was what they said. Um, and that was from August of 1963. So he, w he was in control of the, CIA, of the Cubans at the time that they were in contact with Oswald. That was the first thing that was noteworthy. But the second thing, and this was, a, this was stunning, uh, was there was also a fitness report from 1978, and George Joannides had returned to the JFK story. In 1978, he was appointed to be the CIA liaison to the House Select Committee on Assassinations. He was the point person who handled all of the committee's requests for documents. I called up Bob Blakey, who had run, and I said, do you remember this guy, George Joannides? He said, oh yeah, you know, we had some, yeah, we had a lot of dealings with him. Uh, my staff knew him, you know. Uh, they didn't, my staff didn't like him, but I thought he was okay. What about him? I said, did you know what he was doing in 1963? And he said, oh, he wasn't doing anything in 1963. We had an agreement with the agency that uh, nobody operational from that time would work on the, would work on the, you know, with us in, in the investigation. And I said, Bob, think again. I'm looking at his fitness report from 1963, and he handled the DRE uh, at the time of their contacts with Oswald. And Blakey was stunned. Blakey was stunned. Uh, and he said, that is outrageous. Uh, you know, if we had known that, we would, have, we would have never accepted him. We would have put him under oath uh, and interrogated him. So, that really pushed the story into a whole new dimension. I couldn't get, you know, again, it was like 
what, who killed Kennedy? I said, I don't know who killed Kennedy. This guy compromised the CIA uh, congressional investigation, and I have the head of the investigation saying it on the record. I have proof of that he had responsibility. I have a half dozen people in Miami who knew him. I have the financial relationship with the Cubans who knew Oswald. What else do we need? Not, not news. I re reported on it, you know, piecemeal. I found more people who knew him. I talked to colleagues. Um, I looked again at a lot of records of the National Archives. But I decided what I really needed to do was um, go to court. We needed to really put the, if I couldn't, if I couldn't write a story about it, I said I was going to make news.